Hey everybody, my name is Zach. I'm one of the managers here with Furnish Fair down here at our Florence location. And today we're going to talk about the three ways you can hook up your new Moto Motion um, living room surround system. Sofa, love seat, recliner, or three recliner. However you want to do it, we're going to talk about Bluetooth, optical cables, and then using uh, auxiliary cords and these puck devices. So hopefully by the time this video is done, you'll have a good understanding of how these things work and to troubleshoot any problems in the future. So let's get started. The way it's hooked up on our showroom and the way I believe to get the best sound quality if you wanted to hook them up is with the auxiliary cords. Um, these, we have long cords. Uh, I think they're 20 feet long. You can buy them as long as you need them. And they're, if you're worried about the cord showing, there's lots of things that you can get Home Depot online that hide these cords. Um, you do have to tip up the love seat and the sofa and the recliner to get to these ports. Um, and then they're a daisy chain. So if you're familiar with that phrase, you will run one cord from your TV's auxiliary port and you will run it to one piece that has an in, and then it also has an out where you'll run another cord to the other piece to its end, then it's out to the other piece to its end. And again, the cords are something you would get yourself. Um, you can go to Best Buy, you can buy them online, buy them on Amazon. If you want very good sound quality, don't go too cheap. Um, you don't have to get super expensive, um, but if you're going to put an investment into buying this furniture and you want the best home entertainment you can get, definitely spend a little extra and get the, the top end uh, quality cords. Next, we are going to move on to Bluetooth and how to hook this up with Bluetooth. So your TVs, the newer ones, you can hook things up uh, via Bluetooth. This one, we just got it. And unfortunately, it does not offer that. But all you would do is you would go to your TV's settings. If you have an older TV, you might not have this option. And I, when I say older, I mean probably five years or older. Um, it's really these newer TVs starting to do this, but you would go to settings and you would go down to your audio and then audio output. And over here, you would have an option that says Bluetooth. As I said, this TV doesn't have it. If yours doesn't have it, don't worry. That's what these pucks will be for. So the next way we're going to do it is now we're going to set it up using the puck. So we're going to take our USB-C. You have the little your uh, DC power connect in the back. And then you take your optical cord to hook these up. They are, and I'll get a little close, it's kind of shaped like a house. You got the flat part and then you got basically the roof or like a barn, if you will. You have to find the spot on your TV that has this. If you have an older TV, there's a chance you might not have it. But a lot of TVs made within the past 10 years or so will have this. There's little plastic or little like rubber uh, tops that go on these just to pre uh, protect these connectors. Make sure when you get these, you're pulling those off. Because if you try and plug it in and you don't pull that connector off, you're going to mess up this connector or your TV. So if you see those and you get it home, you can't get it in all the way because you should hear a little click. Just look, you probably got to take off those little rubber connectors. Now you have two ports on the back of this. You have one next to input, one next to output. You want to go to the one next to input, the one next to the antenna. It's the one you want to hook into. Again, looks like a little barn. You just connect right into that. When you first turn these on, these pucks, it will say monster and then it'll have some letters after. They might not all be the same. This one says monster MBA9 for my fellow military people, Mike Bravo Alpha. And all you do, so it says RX here at the top, you hit these two little, it looks like half of an arrow going each way. You click it once, takes you to bypass mode. Click it again, it takes you to what we want, which is TX connected. 
So, and then you press and hold your Bluetooth button. So now we want to connect this to our sofa. So you've been in the showroom, you've talked to your salesperson. We got one of the most knowledgeable staffs around. They told you all the fun stuff that's inside this couch is going to give you amazing experience when you're watching a movie. So you turn the knob, turn it on. This little book, and it says connecting. I don't know if you heard it, it wasn't very loud. But you press and hold this little button right here until this light blinks blue. So now the sofa is searching for something to connect to. A little word of caution, if you have Bluetooth on your phone or anything else, it could connect to that possibly. So if you're having issues getting it to connect, check your phone, turn your phone off first. But if you look right here on our system, it's already found it. It says Moto Media System. So all you do is tap in this play button, tap in the play button. Connected. And you should have heard behind um, myself and Kyle here, the sofa let us know that it is connected. And now you're like, that's great, but give me proof, Zach, that it worked. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you that you're connected. This mount, you'll climb straight up in the enemy radar while losing all of your airspeed. Within seconds, you'll be fired upon by enemy SAMs. You've all faced. This, this is gonna take you That's and your aircraft. Like one piece through Bluetooth with our, uh, with our puck. And again, it's always gonna say connecting. It's all, it might say searching. It's always going to say connecting. Don't freak out if it does. It's not looking for anything else. So this is how you do it. You turn it on, press the two little half arrows till you get to TX, TX, Tango X-ray, TX. And then you hold in the Bluetooth button to where it says searching, as it did earlier in the video. You hold in this little button here. There's also one here, we'll go over in a second. And then the recliner is a little bit different. We'll do that last. And you hold that and it pops up on the screen. Moto Media System. You press in the play button and you should hear it connect. If you don't hear it connect, start over from the beginning. You have two pieces. If you're like, Zach, I want to connect them both to Bluetooth. So we have one. Now we're going to get the other. And that's exactly what this puck is designed for. So. We want to turn on our second piece. We're going to turn it up. That way we can move. You're going to turn this down. You hear it. It's looking. So we're going to press this button. It's right in here when these lights are on. It's right next to this headphone jack. It's a little bitty button, just like in the first one. Connect that to where it's blinking. And then we're going to come back over here to our mode of motion. We're going to press this looks like a recycle thing or refresh button so it says searching now we're going to press and hold our bluetooth button again and this should pop up to moto media systems so it gave us one connected so this is connected now so we hit play the answer to that question will come down to five in the box. This is turned down. And so now you want to see if it still works. Pause the movie. Now you want to see is this still connected when this one's connected. So the best way to do that, turn this one all the way down. Don't turn it off. Turn your sofa back up. Hit play. And you lost connection. So now you're like, what do I do? So now you just repeat the steps. Don't freak out, it will work. So you go back over here. To get both items to connect, you press and hold the button and they're flashing and on your item here, on your puck, you hold in the Bluetooth icon and you should see two Moto Media systems pop up. And that's what you wanna to connect to. So you just turn them up a little bit And then when you connect, you just hit the pause play button. Connected. You hear it connected to one. 
Now you want to connect to the other one. Connected. So that one connected. Okay. So when it says Moto Media System on there twice, you connect the first one. Then you press your Bluetooth button again. You press it. It'll say searching. You hit this circle. So whichever one isn't flashing, once you hit the circle, it will connect to, and then you are connected to both devices. And again, it always says connecting. So let's just test it out one more time. Play the movie. The time of drop and drive. We're connected here. Turn that down. Connecting. Connected. And now we're connected. So, sofa. Routine Now you're connected. Two items ready to enjoy watching the movie. All you need to do when you're done is if this is powered to your TV with the USB, you turn your TV off, it turns this off. You turn these off, and then once you turn them back on and you turn this back on, it should auto connect. If it does not, check your phone, because um, anything that's Bluetooth in your home could try and reach read this or read these. So if you're having that issue, make sure you double check your other devices. So that puck allows you to connect two devices with Bluetooth. If you have all three items and you wanna do all three, or you got three sofas, three recliners, whatever you wanna do, you're gonna need something a little different that I've recently discovered. You're going to need an optical splitter. I got this um, off Amazon. You have one port back here. It comes with one cord. And this is what plugs into your TV. So one, this one actually does one to three. So if you have three devices that are optical cable, you can connect. Um, but for these pucks, you really only, only need two. But now I'm gonna show you how you do that. If you want all your items in Bluetooth, cause you're like, Zach, I don't want any cords anywhere. This is what you have to do. We are going to plug this in. So now you want to unplug the original optical cable from your TV, from that puck. And you want to plug in the new one. Now you're probably like, can I just unplug it from the back of the puck and plug it to this? Absolutely, same thing. These are a little different though. So on these, the houses, the barns are upside down. So typically they're like that, but on here, so all you do, plug it into here. Um, again, these also come with those little rubber pieces that you need to take off. Plug it in, you hear the little click. Now you need to get your power supply. So that's plugged in. And we're gonna plug this in. And do our extension cord. Now it's a little hard to tell if it's on, but if you look at it, you can see the red lights glowing on the inside. That's what you want. Now you're gonna take your optical cord, plug in the optical port one. And just to show you that this still works, we wanna test it real quick. So these items are still turned on. I haven't turned anything off. We're just gonna turn them up a little bit, hit play on our movie, see what happens. There we go. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your second puck. Now this is where you need a power cube. So I'm not using the USB cord that comes with it. This is actually my cell phone cord. Um, same thing, USB-C. Unless your TV has two USB ports, then you can just plug it directly in your TV like before. And we're going to plug this in. And we're gonna plug this into our second puck to give it power. And then we're going to plug this into optical output two on this device. This is gonna rehash what we did on the first steps, because now we just wanna connect one item. So when you turn it on, you're on TX, Moto Media System. 
So you just want to connect one item. So we want to connect this recliner. Now this puck that I used yesterday was already connected to this recliner. So chances are it will remember it. Let's find out. So to turn it on, these, this button's a little tricky. You just press and hold. It automatically takes you to volume. If you want to do bass, press bass, vibration, treble, but volume. Now to pair, press and hold. Disconnect. So it's disconnecting. We want to pair it to our new puck. Our new puck is searching. Connected. So now we're connected. So this puck is connected to that device. We want to see if it works. So we're going to turn the love seat and the sofa. We're going to turn those off. And we're going to turn the chair up. And let's see where Maverick's at. I'm going after him. There you go. Come on, give me a Now your chair is trolled. So you got sound in your chair. Now we want to see if all three will work again. So we just turn these off. We're going to turn them back on. You want to turn them up a little bit so you can hear it say connecting. Connect. Connected. Connected. They both connected automatically. And if you look right here on these pucks, two Moto Media systems, one Moto Media system. Now let's see if it all works. Let's hit play. Yeah, now let's test it. Turn that down, you hear nothing. Well, one bit, I think. Turn it. I'm good. Want back up? That's not pretty good. So I'm back up. That was close. Too close. Sure. First strike. First strike. First strike. That volume is not up all the way. It's not even, it's maybe halfway on each one. Um, it, I just want to point a few things out since it is Bluetooth and it's not a direct connection like an auxiliary cord or an optical cord will be. Uh, you might notice the lip syncing in your TV a little off with the words. That's normal. You can go into your TV settings and adjust that. I can't tell you on a video how to do that. That's just something you kind of have to do. If you remember where you got your TV from, you can ask, but I promise calling us here, we not that we wouldn't try to help, but you might, the best thing for that would be to Google the type of TV you have and how to adjust the lip sync. Because you are doing a wireless signal that goes out, so there can be a little bit of a delay, depending on how big your room is, things like that. Um, if you don't notice it, then don't worry about it. I notice things like that. So again, that is how you do three items, three of these pieces with the pucks with Bluetooth. The one thing you would need that we do not provide is the splitter. So, and then once you're watching, you should never have to reconnect them. When you turn them off and turn them back on, they should reconnect automatically. If they don't, just check this video again and it walks you through step-by-step step on how to do this. Um, and then if you continue to have issues or problems, give us a call um, and we'd be happy to, to see what we can do. But I've done this quite a bit. I've actually gone to a couple of people's homes when we first got this um, and just to kind of get hands-on experience. So this is the best way to do it with the Bluetooth for all three pieces. Get you a splitter, get the pucks, and then once they're connected, once one puck's connected to that piece, this one's connected to these two or vice versa, they will remember those pieces. But that is how you hook everything up with the Bluetooth, with the pucks, one piece, two piece, three pieces. So hopefully this video was informative for you, but any questions at all, stop out here, see us at Furniture Fair, give us a call. But check out our website. Um, we got a learning center, teaches you a lot of cool stuff about everything. Um, any questions about any of what's going on in here as far as speakers, anything like that, give your salesperson a call. So they'd be happy to go over all that with you. This video was just meant to teach you how to connect. 
So again, my name is Zach, one of the managers here at Furniture Fair at our Florence location. Uh, stop in and see us, or just stop in for 20 minutes and catch a little bit of Top Gun Maverick. So, but thanks guys, have a good day.